improv. The players who get the most questions right will be eligible to guest host HQ. Sunday, August 25th is the last day to qualify, so do not stop playing. Now, tonight, we are giving away a juicy amount of cash in our jackpot. $10,000 is up for grabs. That's that make it rain kind of dough right there. Last night, we had one player make it to the penultimate question. How far will you get tonight? And we've got prize questions coming your way. Q9, 13, 17, 21. Lots of chances to win cash and win big tonight. If you've been following our Insta stories today, you know Matt flew to Indianapolis. He loves to fly. By the way, to meet our big $100,000 winner, Jeff, and deliver a big check, as you just saw. Let's take a look at what the guys are up to right now. What's up, Sharon? What's up, HQDs? Look, it's me, Money Flipping Matt Richards, and I am in Indianapolis, Indiana, right now with the winner of Season 4's jackpot, my man Jeff. We out here. Look at it. $100,000. We are at O'Reilly's Pond. And the people came out to play some trivia tonight. Wish I could be there, but I'm here with the people. We're having a good time. That's right. Oh, yeah. Jeff, how you been? Feeling good, Matt? Yeah! Ooh, it's lit out there. Nice job, guys. Nice job, Jeff. That was a massive check. Okay, here's what else we have in store for you on Thursdays. Disney Channel Trivia. I'm about to be a whole lot richer. Now would be a good time to take a commercial break. Actually, I learned a lot. Like the Middle Ages smelled terrible. Oh, we got a little wise guy here. Okay, they don't get that start on the Disney Channel. It looks like it, right? All of our favorite stars. That's going to be a ton of fun. So throw in your Mickey ears for that one Thursday at 9 p.m. Then Friday, take a trip down memory lane with us. We are going back to our original 12 question game for a special Friday night treat. Keeping it short and keeping it sweet. 9 p.m. on Friday, Sunday. A very special theme game. We are taking you back to 1969. It was an eventful summer that year, to say the least. And this is sure to be an eventful game. 9 p.m. on Sunday. And this one's going to be eventful as well tonight. I know you're ready and raring to go. We have just a few seconds on the clock before the games begin. Let's count it down. Okay, players, it's about that time. It's time to get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. What section of an orchestra contains the trumpets, percussion, strings, brass? It was a really difficult one to get you started. Not. If you use a trumpet for percussion, you are hitting some sour notes here. Brass is what we were looking for. The top brass got that right. 169,000 of you did. A trumpet is not meant to be banged on. It's meant to be blown, right? It's in the brass section because it's shiny and brassy. Pretty simple, really, isn't it? Now, you don't want to get hit by a savage without an extra life, do you? You can use up to three of them in a game. You can buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on the heart below. They'll work up to Q17, but not on any prize questions. Remember that. So tread carefully. Q2. Disneyland's newest theme area is based on what film series? Star Wars, Shrek, Bridget Jones' Diary. These would all be so fun. A Bridget Jones theme park would be awesome, but this is also a Star Wars. The force is strong with you lot, 171,000 of you. A themed area for Shrek, a DreamWorks movie, isn't really Disney style. No, they prefer their own films. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is like heaven for me, so he's taken me. You are? All right, so dates. Q3, which of these animals is an equine, buffalo, antelope, donkey? I'm inquiring about the equine. Equines are my favorite animals, actually. Horses, that is, but I do have a soft spot for donkeys as well. You're trotting onwards, 149,000 of you. Buffalo and antelope are both bovids. If you haven't heard of equine, just think of the word equestrian. If you haven't heard of equestrian, that's a problem. 
Hopefully this isn't. Q4. What is a likely explanation for a computer reporting a 404 not found error? Website address changed, hard disk full, keyboard disconnected. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Actually, yeah, I would. It's one of the most frustrating messages you'll ever receive. Where, oh, where did that web page go? The website address has changed. It had disappeared 137,000 of your logging on, though. The unsightly message means the server couldn't find what was requested. The link is broken or dead, and so are your spirits. After all that, Q5 coming at you. What infamously unpleasant YouTube challenge is this guy attempting right here? <laughs> Uh, what is that? The cumin challenge, the curry challenge, the cinnamon challenge. I wouldn't suggest you ingest a lot of any of that stuff, to be honest. Why do we put ourselves through this in the hopes of five minutes of fame? Well, I guess I just answered that question, right? Cinnamon challenge is what everyone was doing. 133,000 of you overcame that one. Not only is cinnamon gross, it can also do serious damage if overconsumed. You may laugh at this idiocy, but do not try this at home, boys and girls. Q6, which of these is a frequently used name for a video game subgenre? Metroidvania, Metal Creed, Tetris Crush. I barely know the regular genres, let alone these subgenres. If you went for Tetris Crush, you didn't crush this game. It crushed you, I'm afraid. Metroidvania. Well played by 80,000. That was kind of a brutal question. I have no idea what a Metroidvania is, but if you slam together Metroid and Castlevania, that's what you get. A subgenre of action adventure, apparently. Q7. What color is nearest the flagpole on a properly hung French flag? Is it red, blue, or white? Just don't have it upside down. That's going to cause problems. Three flag favorites, but which one do the French position nearest the pole? It's blue. Blue, just for you. 50,000 of you nailed it. If you're flying the French tricolor, the white goes in the middle, of course. The blue is on the hoist side, and the red is raring to go on the outside, as you saw just there. Q8. What metal band has the same name as a defunct city-state in present-day Poland? Danzig, Dokken, Dio. It's all about the D on this one. But which D could it be? They're all real bands, believe it or not, but only one doubles as a defunct Polish place. It's Danzig. You're digging for gold right now. 43,000 of you are. If you have a heavy metal band in need of a name, Eurostates Between the World Wars, they're the best source. I'm naming mine Metaxas Regime, but I have a better idea. We've got a prize question coming your way. If you get this next question correct, you'll have a choice to make. Take Either take what's in the pot or move on and try to win the lot. $10,000 at stake tonight. Good luck. Q9. What type of syrup is used in a tequila sunrise? Cider, grenadine, birch. Got one waiting for me after the game. On the rocks, please, bartender. Is your classic do not stir drink. This syrup sinks to the bottom to create the sunrise effect. It's called grenadine. You are rising up in the game, 43,000 of you are. A tequila sunrise is made with orange juice, tequila, grenadine, and an orange slice. And the cherry on top is the stash of cash that we have right now in your face. We are offering seven cents to 43,308 players. Seven cents. So a whole bunch of you, four questions until the prize, next prize in front of your eyes. So what's it going to be? What's your choice? Okay, 6,981, taking that seven cents, early winners tonight, our first lot of winners, 36,000 still in the game. All right, let's go. Q10, who won at the Super Bowl featuring the halftime show with the infamous wardrobe malfunction? New England Patriots, Indianapolis Colts, Baltimore Ravens. Oh, yes, you couldn't forget this one. Well, you could forget the game, actually. Who always wins the Super Bowl? Yes, it's the New England Patriots again. It's always them, isn't it? 25,000 of you with the touchdown. Can you believe it's been 15 years since the infamous wardrobe malfunction? We remember nothing about the game, but every single detail about the 
accidental nip slip. Q11, what is not one of the 10 brightest stars in Earth's night sky, Arcturus, Aldebaran, or Achenar? Gotta get an A plus tonight.